Have you ever jumped out of a plane and lived to tell about it? I have. It's amazing. It's an amazing feeling and it's a journey I want to take you on today. How it felt. A friend of mine once asked me, how did it feel to jump out of a plane? And I sat there and I tried to explain it to him. And, and then finally I said, do you know what it's like when someone you love is is uh, maybe your child, maybe your mother or father or just a pet, your famous pet, fa favorite pet, and you're waiting and you watch that pet and the pet's on the road or your child. And the only way I could describe it was if my daughter was on the road and you're up in the plane, you step out, And then you just let go, let go. And all of a sudden it's whoosh. You're just going and the wind is just blowing like it is around me tonight with the rain and the trees are blowing. And that's what it's like. You see your child standing on the road and there's a bus coming and it's getting closer and they don't notice. And you're running to grab your child and the truck's getting closer and you're running to get grab and the truck's getting closer and we're running and you're and it's just back and forth and you're looking at the truck and you're looking at your child and you're screaming just screaming and they don't hear you they don't understand you they can't hear you and you're running and just as the truck goes to grab you and 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 hit your child you grab your child and whew, you're out of the way. And that's what it feels like, that free fall. That's what it feels like sometimes in life, that free fall where you're just out of control. There's things you can't control, but you know you gotta do what you have to do. You have to do sometimes uh, uh, work another job to, to, for your family. You have to give what you can give to do your best in life. And it's crazy at times. It's like sometimes I used to do tournaments. I used to do tournaments and uh, karate tournaments. I'm a martial arts instructor. And, uh, or was a martial arts instructor. I should correct that. And I, you're just busy all day long. All, all just going, 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 getting everything set up and making sure everything's done. And then, poof, you look around and everything's running. And you can't believe it. And that's what it's like falling from an airplane. You just can't believe the, the emotions that are going around. Your cheeks are flapping, your, everything's just going, your clothes are blowing, it's just wild. And then, bam, you open your chute, you, poof, you throw away your pilot chute, and poof, opens your big chute. And it's just like a whole nother world. Your life's just changed. You're sitting up there as if you're sitting in a chair, looking at the world, it's calm, there's no rush. And that's a lot of ways how my life was a little while ago. Six years ago actually, or six and a half years ago. I was doing fine, everything was going great in my life. I was a manager at a nursery, and you have your hectic days, but everything was fine. And, and then all of a sudden, bam, just like jumping out of that plane. I slipped, I had an injury, I hurt my spinal column, and that's it. I thought my life was over. Like, I, I didn't know what was going on with me. At the time, I, uh, I could still work, but there was pain, and I knew it was different, a deep pain. I don't know if you ever felt that sometimes, like, and you, and you go to the doctors and you go to specialists and you tell them it's different, it's not like before. You know, like maybe you go to your boss and you tell them, uh, you know, you got to do something like this. But no, they don't listen. And that's how life is sometimes. It just isn't fair. Why it happens, I don't know. So after that, I'm off to doctors. I'm doing all kinds of crazy ass shit. Sorry for the swearing, but I crazy ass. Psychiatrists. I went for my operation after three months. 
when the neurosurgeon finally figured out it was, uh, yeah, it was like pretty serious. Like I'm numb from my neck down, I can't feel, and what I can feel is burning. So it's sort of like jumping out of that plane. It's like numb going down one side and burning on the other, and you look good. And I remember back a time when I looked good for my neighbors. You know, I had everything I needed, everything looked like I had all the fancy cars, the house, the boat, but I was paying for it. There was a price I was paying for it. I was working hard, working two jobs, staying away, missing time from my family, crying like crazy when I'd have to go on the road and stay away from them. And that's how life is. But you deal with it. Just like I dealt with my injury. Well, I'm you know, I'm dealt with it now. At the time, it was so hard. I was down. I was... When I was in Toronto, that was a down... Uh, that was about five years after my injury. And they're trying to rehabilitate me. Okay? I'm 62% injured and uh, or disabled. And they're trying to rehabilitate me to get back to work, right? So I'm down there. And I'm sitting on the, sitting on the balcony. 22 stories up. And I came up with a plan. I thought it was a great plan. It was called Seven Seconds to Freedom. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever been that deep, but that was pretty bad. Seven Seconds to Freedom. I would sit in my chair, and I was smoking my cigarette, and I thought, okay, one step, one second up, two, three steps to the balcony, four, push off, and five, six, seven, that's it. That's how low I was. Finally I got help. I knew I needed to do something different in my life and so I looked for an answer. I looked for a way. I asked for help. I searched. I kept searching. I kept searching for value for myself. And I found it a little while ago. Believe me, I found it. I don't know if you've been searching for your, through your life for something, something that changed what's going on. The craziness, the hardships, the missing the family. And I found it. I found it about a month ago. And that's why I'm here. I have to tell you about this company, this organization of people who are there to help you. They lifted me up. They were my parachute. They were the ones that opened my parachute. Further and further and further. Have you ever had somebody like try to reach down and help? Like, I mean, really help you? It's a great feeling to have somebody that's there to support you all the way and help you build, and they're not interested in it for themselves. They would just want to help. And when I discovered them, I looked at it, and I, I said, wow, this is it. I knew in an instant, without a doubt, this was my way out. This was my way, my time, my life, my time to discover a new way better way for me, for my family. And so I watched their videos. I watched and I watched and I watched. I watched each video one by one. And I went all in. I don't know if you know what all in means. All in is all in. All in is the inner circle where I learned. I've only been in for a month. And there's so much to, to see in this company. There's so much help. They do so much for you. They have a plan. It's like getting a franchise. Everything's done for you. All you got to do is show up. And you can have the freedom you desire. Pick and choose wherever you want. Whatever you want. Whatever level you want. You want to earn 5000 10000 15000 $150,000 a month. It's yours. Yours for the taking. But you got to get all in. All in is all in. It's, it's like 
all the products. I just believed them and I got them all in. All in. You know what that's like in your life to have that moment where you just know you have to be there. You have to be present. You have to trust somebody. Like their 15K is amazing. I only got to touch on it, but it just shows you a way that you can grow, you can expand. There's, there, Costa Rica is just out of this world. I've only watched a little bit about it because I'm busy doing and learning. Doing and learning. That's what this company is all about. Do as you learn, go as you learn, earn as you learn. I've seen it, I've seen it in the leaders, I've seen it in my team, Team Prosperity. They learn as they go, they just don't sit there till everything's perfect. You gotta go now. Now is the time. That's the time for me. I took that time for me. I knew that chance and I took it. It was my time. I hope it's your time. And I hope I see you on the other side of this.